got a couple of couple of tough games at home in the last two games. We must have been really proud of the boys' performance tonight. Yeah, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the fact that um, obviously winning at home is hugely important to us. But um, we had a lot of guys contribute uh, contribute to, uh, this evening. Um, you know, I thought uh, Bearstow and Barker's minutes were you know hugely important for us, and uh, everyone just chipped in where they needed to, and um, it was consistent across the board. Uh, we still have, in my opinion, a lot of room to grow and a lot of more growth areas that we can get better in. Um, we slip here and there uh, during the course of the game at times, but I thought for the most part we were pretty consistent in our intent and what we were trying to get done. And um, it was good to get a, a, a win across the line against a team that's obviously uh, chasing and um, quite competitive and got a lot of talent over there. That's a big place with that third quarter, but you mentioned the slip there. Did you feel like that was potentially in that fourth quarter where Cairns got himself back in the game? Well, I just think that you know, you it's it's a, one of those give and take things, and we we talk about it all the time. And every now and then, you're fortunate to get leads, and then how you play with those leads, uh, you can get sloppy, you can get a little lazy, uh, you don't run back and transition that one time because you think you can get away with it. And next thing you know, it's a 12 point game, and you've just lost that lead. So those areas, I think we can definitely improve on. I thought our foul discipline was okay. Uh, I thought we had some uh, bad ones though. I think at the end of the first, a few times, or in maybe the end of the second, but. Uh, in general, uh, we you know we rebounded well, and again, I think this everyone chipped in and did something, uh, which was great. The fouls are, I, I, you know, I don't know, issues a strong word, but we're, we're a focus last week. We must have been pleased to draw that back this week. Yeah, I mean, he still went to the line 22 times, but they drove the ball quite heavily towards us, um, trying to bait us into. Um, getting away from the three-point line and having some kickouts, but uh, in general, you know that number's still a little too high for me. Um, we try to get it under 20 uh, is what we're kind of shooting for. Uh, and again, I think there's just some areas that we can continue to grow in, uh, but we can't just keep revisiting these moments and, and trying to reel it back in and go through the process of what we know is wrong. Um, but um, yeah, it was a good win. Great, great crowd again here at home, and uh, yeah, really good. The players often don't have two quiet games in a row. I thought Mills game tonight was, was a real strong response from him. Yeah, I think, you know, for him, it's been uh, a heck of a probably three or four weeks uh, once he got back and probably uh, the travel and fatigue and moving around. And, and we were playing good teams too. So, you know, it's a, it's a combination of things and it's not going to be your night every night. And, you know, how do you impact the game in other ways? And I thought he was, you know, really, really good tonight. I thought um, Marcus Lee has put two games together now, which is a really good sign for us. And then obviously having Magne um, bounce around back out there um, is quite helpful. Just going to touch on Marcus. How important is it for him to string two games together now? And he seems to get more comfortable with every passing game. Yeah, I think that, that just a confidence builder. And, you know, um, he's a guy that we've been, you know, pushing and trying to get him uncomfortable to get to doing what we want him to do. And to string two games together and, and, um, and, and that kind of effort is exactly what we're looking for from him. Um, and I thought, he, I thought he was really, really good. And, and Mags got through on Skype. Yeah, uh, again, with him was just, you know, he missed three or four days of conditioning of just practicing. But um, again, we were obviously all scared, um, but everything came back clean. And it was more about um, him just mentally saying, OK, I'm fine. And this will go away in a two or three day period. And it did. And um, and yeah, we're happy to have him obviously back on the floor and um, get a little bit more rest. And we'll need him uh, in the coming weeks, obviously. Okay, I did the line mice first. Mate, how do you think Dad played? Pretty good? Good. Good. And the win, you must be happy with the win? Mm. Are you happy with yeah. those winning? Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty Milk, mate, must have been pleasing to come out and play the way he didn't also get the win. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just to see the ball go in and get a win in front of this crowd, it's a great feeling. Has it been, obviously, under the circumstances where you had to go away and come back, has it, has it been a tough to come back in and, and integrate back into the side? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just with what was going on back home, then the travel. I think anytime you travel that far and that short amount of time and come back and play basketball, it's going to be kind of getting your feet underneath you. But the coaching staff has been great with me. My teammates have been backing me, so it's easy to come back here and play in any condition. And on the floor, I've got like that third quarter. The boys are really able to, able to I guess, stretch cans out, and you must have been pleased to be able to get that run on the did. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody played great tonight. Um, JC and Shiny was great. Uh, Garden, um, LB having played all year pretty much and comes in and plays well in his minutes. Uh, Mark is playing great, so that's all you can ask for. So I just got about lucky back on that. Actually, you know, I guess a guy that we probably don't see <clears> many minutes out of, but when he does get his chance on the floor, it seems like every time he goes out, that he does something with the ball or, or for the team. I guess what kind of teammate is Lucky? 
He's great. Um, he pushes me every day in practice. So he's the one that guards me, and I guard him, and he keeps me on point, making sure I don't rest in practice and things like that. So having a guy like that who you know can get buckets and, and just be great on and off the court is, is always good to have. Guess it shows the depth of this side that you know we, we don't see many minutes out of him, but when he does get on it, and other guys like that, they can come out and, and Scott and, and the rest of the boys have the trust in them to perform. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the belief in everybody we have on our team, from uh, Walt to to the top guy starting the starting five, is uh, unbelievable. So we back everybody on the team, just like the coaches do, and you see it on the court when they get in. Um, Milton, I must start with your son. How happy are you to have a chair down to sit on and you don't have to sit on your dad's lap? <laughs> you happy you don't have to sit on my lap? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> How do you enjoy coming into these? How do you feel sitting on that side of the camera? You like this, coming to this? He's a star. His grandma gets to see him back home. He's good. <laughs> Uh, it feels great. Um, just uh, getting my feet underneath me, like I said. Um, I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do. My mind was telling me to make certain plays, but my body just couldn't do it in the last few weeks. So just being able to do that and, and having a trust from all these guys is uh, what helped me. Scott, you talked after the last game about how you needed to see some improvement in areas from your team if you were going to get, get to where you want to get to this season. A lot of the areas I think you were referring to, you saw improvement in tonight. Your rebounding was great. You took care of the ball. Foul discipline was better. You shot the ball well. Was this close to where you want to see the team, team playing? Well, I'm not satisfied, and they uh, shouldn't need be either. I mean, I mentioned to them right after the game that, you know, um, we do have a lot of areas to grow in, and um, that's going to take everyone, you know, pushing um, themselves to get in some of those areas. And more importantly, I think with us, it's more concentration and mental discipline to follow through with some things and just stay solid in situations. And um, you know, you're going to have adversity and things you're going to go through as a group, but um, we tend to um, let things just kind of snowball, like. Uh, a couple nights ago, obviously, Southeast comes in, just bashes us on the glass, and we just can't get a rebound. And then next night, we rebound the ball really well, but then we foul everyone. And so it's just one of these things that uh, when we have steady production and steady um, work uh, rate for us, we tend to be you know, very difficult to deal with. And um, those areas continue to be an emphasis for us that we need to clean up. And uh, we have, obviously, many more tough games ahead of us. but. Um, I do feel that when we're on those areas and on those points, uh, we're a handful for uh, everyone in the league to deal with uh, when we're in that, in that kind of mode. Thanks very much. That's it for me, guys. All right, Chris. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. See you all.